You thinking about taking your boat to the Bahamas? Well, join Taylor Hobbs as she shares her experience to make your experience better and also to learn all the things you'll need on your boat for the trip over. Today we're going to talk about what you need to do to clear customs in the Bahamas and bring your own boat over. For starters, some of the things that you need to make sure that you have before you leave home is a form of identification and if you're a U.S. citizen, that would be a passport for you to come over to the Bahamas. You also would need to fill out a form on clicktoclear.com. So click to clear is the Bahamas new way of clearing customs ahead of time before you even leave your home. So click to clear when you go online, you're actually going to need to submit all of the documents that you would need to provide to customs once you arrive in the Bahamas. Some of those include your boat registration you need to include on that document. You also at that point would need to provide proof of vaccination for COVID or proof of a negative COVID test to enter the Bahamas. Other things involved in click to clear is a passenger list of everyone on board your boat, their passport numbers, birthdays, address, so you definitely have some homework to do before you jump online and just register on click to clear but it does make the process so much faster. In regards to your passport, it is not always as simple as it may seem to just log on and get it right back super quickly. Before COVID, it took an average of, I want to say it was eight weeks for a general passport application. That has since gone all the way up to multiple months ahead of that that you might need to apply ahead of time. So if this is something that you want to do and you do not already have a passport, make sure that you get on it very quickly. You also do have the option to expedite your passport and that will guarantee that you get it within six weeks. You would do that by going onto us.gov um, as the website and from there it would direct you to the correct section whether you're renewing a passport that might be about to expire or you are going on and getting a passport for the very first time. In regards to registration that would be something that you receive when you purchase your boat. You would get your title and go down to the, your local DMV register your boat in your name that would be when you would receive your registration that is something that you need to provide the bahamas we have our builder certificate here as well because this is a new build so that's just another form of documentation that we needed to provide but getting your registration should be a very easy process like i said your local dmv would be the one who would register that to you once you arrive in the bahamas you will be so excited to clear customs and get to having some fun so a few of the forms that you're going to get once you arrive here is this bahamas immigration inward passenger and crew manifest this again like click to clear you're going to fill out your port of arrival in the bahamas for us that's beautiful old bahama bay at west end and you're gonna go through, list um, your date of arrival, where you're registered again, all of that good information. It's just to have a hard copy with you that they look at to refer to the passports that come into the office with that. And the next form that you're gonna fill out is actually this Welcome to the Bahamas immigration card. Every passenger on board needs to fill one of these out and this actually gets slipped right into your passports when you go inside to immigration and just clear customs like that. So the final thing that you're going to get once you're here, or if you did click to clear, you can actually print it out online ahead of time, which again would save you a little bit of time, is your Bahamas Customs Department temporary cruising permit. And so this actually, when you go inside, you just hand it over to customs and they reference your click to clear form online. They give you this lovely little stamp and you sign if you were the captain of the boat. And from there, you move on to the next process in customs, which is showing the passports, getting your stamps and getting cleared. One of the best tips that I have for someone who's coming over and carrying all of this documentation to the Bahamas is to keep it in a waterproof sleeve. We are out on the water and you never know what's gonna happen. Everything always has a chance of getting wet, so make sure to keep these documents protected. Another thing would be to make sure that you are printing out copies of all of this, so including your registration, your click to clear documents, anything that you have provided previously, including even copies of those negative COVID tests or vaccination cards would be absolutely necessary. So just make sure that you have all of this in one place and easy to access. 
That should cover everything you need to clear customs in the Bahamas, so get out there and have a great time with your friends and family.